In numerical analysis, interpolation is a technique of estimating the values of independent variable. And uh, today we are going to discuss the MATLAB code of Newton forward interpolation method. In question, we will be given by a table of values of x and their respective function values. And we have to estimate the value of a function for any given value. Now we are going to write the program and uh, we have to take input of number of values in x. I am representing it by the variable n. So we will use here the input statement and we will write some message like enter number of values in x. Semicolon. So the number of values in x or the size of x array will be stored in n. The next step is to initialize x by taking values from the user and uh, for that purpose we have to use for loop and a is the looping variable 1 to n because the size of array is n and uh, now I will write here x of a. x of a actually represents the particular value of x at position a and we have to take its input so I will write equals to input and I will write some message here like uh, enter element of array x we close it and semicolon and here we will write end so in the same way we have to take input of y so again we will use the for loop and now I am taking the variable b the looping variable b it is also 1 to n because its size is also n and now we have to store the values in y y of a means the particular value of y at position a so here we have to write b because the looping variable is b and I will write here input and within the bracket we will write the message that is enter element of array y semicolon and here we will end the loop. One more thing that we have to take as input from the user. Let's suppose in the question it's given that you have to find the value of y at x equals to 5. Let's suppose. So x equals to 5 is that particular value at which we have to find the value of y. So we are going to input that particular value from user. And uh, we are storing it in small x. That is lowercase x we are using here. Again we will use the statement input. And we will write here some message. That enter particular value of x. Of x at which we have to find value of y. So this is the message that will be displayed on the screen after this. The next step is to find the value of h. So the formula of h is x2 minus x1. In generally we say that difference between the two values of x. So x is the array so we will write like this. In the bracket we will write the second value of x minus the first value of x so h will be calculated i'm not putting semicolon here just for the purpose that we want uh, the value of h on screen now next step is to fill the table and uh, firstly we have to fill the first column separately and after that we will fill the remaining columns so for first column i will use here for loop r is equals to 1 2 n minus 1 so I'm writing n minus 1 because if there are n values in x array then there will be n minus 1 values in the first column so we are naming the table as D and uh, there are i number of rows and there is only one column in this is equals to the formula is y2 minus y1 so I'm writing here this if i is equals to 1, then for i equals to 2, we will write i plus 1 minus and then we will write here y 
and in the bracket we will write i now end for this loop as we know that the number of columns in table are always n minus 1 so to fill the remaining columns we will use the nested for loop as uh, we have already filled the first column so now start from second column so we are using a nested loop and the outer one is for number of columns so I'm writing here j is equals to 2 up to n minus 1 okay now the inner loop is for number of rows and the number of rows are decreasing stepwise so I will write here for looping variable is i and we are starting it from 1 because rows always starts from 1 up to n minus j so why I'm writing here n minus j when j is equals to 2 then i will be from 1 to n minus 2 so we know that in this second column there will be n minus 2 values and now for the last column j is equals to n minus 1 the number of rows will be just 1 so now in the body we have to assign the values to table d i is the number of column and j is the number of rows is equals to now we have to separate the values so we will write here i plus 1 comma j minus 1 bring it close because we are actually taking the value from the previous column so that's why we are writing here j minus 1 minus d and within the bracket we will write i comma j minus 1 now j minus 1 means the previous column and i i plus 1 means the particular values that we have to subtract so here is the end for inner loop and this is the end for outer loop here is the formula for finding the value of y at a particular value of x using Newton forward interpolation formula. So um, y nx is equals to y0. The first term is y0. y0 is actually the first value in the array y. We have to analyze these all terms so that we would be able to write a MATLAB code. Then in the second term we can see there is p. In the third term we have p into p minus 1 divided by 2 factorial. In the further next term we have p p minus 1 to, into p minus 2 divided by 3 factorial we can see that uh, we can use here a variable product and simply we will take uh, um, we will use some method to keep track of the products that are calculated in the previous steps like firstly we have p then simply we are multiplying that product with p minus 1 divided by 2 then in for the next loop simply we will multiply that whole product with p minus 2 divided by 3 and uh, then after finding the product we will multiply it by the first column the, by the first value of that particular column so before using the formula of forward interpolation we have to find the value of p simply i will write here the formula of p that is p is equals to within the bracket we are, have to write the numerator i will write x minus x naught x naught is represented here by the first element of array x divided by h after finding this we have to take a temporary variable for product and i am initializing it by one after that um, we have to name a variable for the um, final answer uh, so I think we should take a lowercase y and the first term of formula is y naught so we will initialize the final answer by the first term that is y naught and y naught is represented here by y of 1 that is the first value of column y for remaining terms we have to use the loop so I will write here the loop t is equals to 1 to n minus 1 because we know that there are n minus 1 columns in the table 
so after that we have to calculate the product and uh, we will write here product is equals to product multiply by as in the first we have p then in the next term we have p plus 1 mm, sorry p minus 1 so i will write here p minus i t plus 1 divided by t semicolon when t is equals to 1 then this fraction will be just p so that will, uh, is just like in the term 2 so for the third term when t is equals to 2 we will have minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 so we will have p minus 1 in numerator and denominator we will have just 2 that is same as the factorial of 2 so after that we have to find, calculate the value of y so we will write here y is equals to y1 because the terms are being added with each other so we will write here y is equal to y plus after that we have to multiply the product by the first value in each column so in table the first value is represented by 1 and the column is represented by the looping variable that is t semicolon and then we will write end so this is the end of loop after this whole loop the answer will be calculated in y so firstly we have to print d the table on the screen and then we will print the final value at the particular value of x this is the example that we are going to use in this program uh, theta is given in degree and that is actually the x array sin theta values are actually the values of y and the particular value of x is 52 it means we have to find the value of y at x equals to now i am going to run the program and enter number of values in x we have four in our example enter elements of array x the first one is 45 then 50 then 55 then 60 now enter elements of array y so the first value is 0 0.7071 I have 0 0.766 the next value is 0 0.8192 the next one is 0 0.866 so now enter the particular value of x at which we have to find the value of y that is 52. So as you can see on the screen that firstly h is written that h is equals to 5. We can see here that there is the difference of 5 degree between the values of x. So that's why h is 5. Then p is equals to 1.4. The next is the table of d. As you can see on the screen, the first one column having three values because there are four values in array x. Then in the next one we have two, then at last we have only one value. And at last we have the value of y that is 0 0.788. This is the value of y at x equals to 52. So this is our final answer.